Let the blood of humankind reject every evil foreign germ. Reject every evil foreign In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Let the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse this world of COVID-19 disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We hold the blood of Jesus Christ. We hold the blood of Jesus Christ. Against coronavirus. Against coronavirus. You must dry up now. You must dry up now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let your healing hand be stretched out. Let your healing hand be stretched out. Upon the lives of those infected with COVID-19 disease. Upon the lives of those infected with COVID-19 disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let your miracle hand, let your miracle hand be, stretched be stretched out upon the lives of those, the lives of those infected with COVID-19 disease, COVID disease now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let your deliverance hand be stretched out upon the bodies of those who are carrying the germ. Of COVID-19 disease now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus We reject Christ. every encounter with the spirit of death. We reject every encounter with the spirit of death. We reject every encounter with the spirit of death. We reject every encounter with the spirit of death. We rebuke every encounter with the spirit of death. We rebuke every encounter with the spirit of death. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We rebuke every region. We rebuke every region. In this, world, in this world that harbors coronavirus disease. That harbors coronavirus disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We destroy the grip and operation. We destroy the grip and operation of coronavirus disease on our lives. Of coronavirus disease on our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demon destined for hell. Every demon destined for hell. Attached to our family name. Attached to our family name. And every spirit behind the name. And every Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the name of Jesus Every Christ. knee must bow. Every knee must bow. Therefore, Therefore I command you. I command you. Spirits of glaucoma. Spirits of glaucoma. Migraine headaches. Migraine headaches. Brain tumors. Brain tumors. Tinnitus. Tinnitus. Arthritis. Arthritis. Sugar diabetes. Sugar diabetes. Spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis. Sciatic nerve issues. Sciatic nerve issues. Lymphedema. Lymphedema. Hypertension. Hypertension. Heart issues. Heart issues. Kidney issues, Kidney issues. Obesity. obesity, digestive issues, digestive issues. Acid, reflux. acid reflux, frozen shoulder, frozen shoulder. Gout. gout, vertigo, vertigo. fibroid tumors, fibroid tumors. Cancers. cancers, paralysis, paralysis. Also Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's. And, dementia. and dementia, and especially COVID-19 disease. And especially COVID-19 in my life, in my life, and in my family's life. And in my family's so life. Bow. bow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, let the whirlwind of God, let the whirlwind of God scatter every vessel of infirmity, scatter every vessel of infirmity, fashion against our lives. Fashion against our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord. Heavenly Father, let every germ of infirmity in our bodies let every germ of infirmity in our die, now. die now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, let every agent of sickness let every agent of sickness working against my health disappear. Working against my health disappear. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, let every agent of sickness let every agent of sickness working against my health disappear. Working against my health disappear. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, let every agent of sickness, let every agent of sickness, working against my health disappear. Working against my health disappear. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fountain of discomfort in my life. Fountain of discomfort in my life. Dry up now. Dry up now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every internal disorder. Every internal disorder. Re receive order. Receive order. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus Christ flush out every evil deposit. Flush out every evil deposit from my blood. From my blood. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Heavenly Christ. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Let the fire revival. Let the fire revival fall upon the United States of America. Fall upon the United States of America. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And give us God fearing leaders. And give us God fearing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Let the power of peace and progress. Let the power of peace and progress. Overshadow our nation. Overshadow our nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. We thank you for your divine presence in our lives. Lord, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Before we present our family pastor tonight, as you join me in singing hallelujah. Amen. Amen. On tonight, amen, we begin, amen, by singing praise unto God. Yes, praise when we Lord. thank God for what he has done. Yes, yes. And he's done so many wonderful things for thank us over Lord. and over and over. Yes, he has. And if you had 10,000 tons, it wouldn't be enough to tell yes, God, thank you, but you ought to try. Yes, Lord. Amen. This old song is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands right where you are. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Living 
And his word is ever full of his promises and his miracles. Yes. Uh, Amen. Yes. And no matter what you may think, in spite of what's going on in and around and across the world, inside your body, outside of your body, God is still able. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You need to yes, always yes. remember that, that God is still able. He does not ever come short of his word. So before we present, amen, our founding pastor, Dr. Samson, I need you to do something for me. Look at a neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Look at another neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Now take your cell phone or your cell device, amen, and look at yourself and tell yourself, self, it's going to be all right. Amen. For the of God, you be encouraged on tonight. Amen. Amen. So we're greatly encouraged by your presence. Please feel free as you're watching it via Facebook, amen, to share. Amen. amen. The comment there as well. We thank you for your interaction uh, with the uh, Facebook Live as we're broadcasting as well. Amen. It encourages us as well for you to provide that. So we thank God for you. Amen. amen. So join me in helping welcome our visionary, our prophet, our man of God, our founding pastor, my daddy, Dr. Reuben I. Samson Sr. Amen. 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 Hear you, hear amen. amen. Praise the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It's the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ who causes us to triumph in every situation. He is our God and through him we do valiantly. This is the day the Lord has made. I do rejoice and I am glad in it. How about you? Hallelujah. Glory be to Thank God. You, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful tonight that God's not dealt with us after anything like sin. He's not rewarded us according to our iniquity, but he's been merciful Amen. to give us and gracious to prosper us to see another day. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let men would praise the Lord for his goodness. Yes. For his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. But I recognize that I'm not here because of my goodness. Amen, amen. And I want to encourage you tonight. You're not here, thank God, yes. because of your goodness. Amen. It is because amen. God is just yeah, good. Yeah. And he high. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want us to sing a song tonight confessing the Lord Jesus Christ. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Yes. And every tongue confess that Jesus the Christ he is Lord. Yes, sir. He's my Lord. Yes, sir. I trust he's your Lord. Glory to God. He is the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Yes. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Mm. And every tongue confess. Yes, sir. That Jesus the Christ he is Lord. Come on and sing this old song with me. He is Lord. He is Lord. Come on, come on, sing it with me. He is risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
thank you, Lord, for the privilege to worship you. We give you praise, we give you honor. Holy Father, you are Lord of our lives. Yes, sir. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your people. Thank you most of all for your precious Holy Spirit, our teacher. Call us in your word, and we continue in your word to show ourselves to be your disciples indeed, and we will know the truth. And that truth we know make us free. So we thank you tonight you. for the freedom we receive from your word. Thank you, Father, your anointing is upon your word. Pray, believe, and thank you that your word falls on anointed ears, and we hear so as to receive. I pray, Holy Father, that every person listening tonight, that they would leave this moment what they were expecting to receive. Yes, Lord. Yes. Bless of us, O Holy Father. Yes. Less of us and more of you. Less of us, O Holy Father. There's none of us and all of you, not under us. But under your name, give glory, yes. majesty, yes. dominion, and power. Is our prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for it. We praise you in it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes. God's exalted, the devil is defeated. Yes. And Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles now and turn with me to 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5. Our text tonight comes from verse 23. Amen. Amen. Been here all year. Amen. You don't have anything new to preach? No, I don't. Not looking for anything new to preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want to preach what the Lord tell me to preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I want tonight to thank Pastor Samson and the wonderful members of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church for how you poured out your heart to me on last Sunday. Amen, amen. And all through the month, amen, as we celebrated 21 years, amen, and I celebrated myself 48 years of preaching. Glory to God. Preached my first sermon, amen, my initial sermon at my home church on Father's Day. 1972 and preached my first sermon as pastor of this church on Father's Day 1999 Boy, that was a minute ago but I have the same report that the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations thankful holding on Amen to Psalm 126. Been my God all my preaching ministry. He that goeth forth with weeping, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. I know that it's not in vain, and I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, your service in the Lord, and especially your obedience to the Lord, Amen. is never in vain. It may not pan out as you vision that it would because when God gives us a vision, we have an envision of how that vision will unfold. Mm. But seldom does it unfold the way that we saw it. Not God is not really looking for results from us. He looks to us for obedience. And trust me on this, be encouraged that God will get the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah out of your obedience. My experience with the Lord has taught me to simply obey Him. Yes. Amen. And walk with Him. You'll be okay. Amen. Everybody may not like you. That's a good indication that you're traveling in a better direction. Mm. Because He taught us back in the 70s that if you haven't had a head-on collision with the devil, you're traveling in the wrong direction. Mm. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for the good people of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church who have been loyal to God. Amen. 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 Because you never, I've never taught you to look at me. I show you to the Christ. Amen. Because he'll be around when I won't. Yes. Amen. Amen. And those who try to tie you to themselves, watch those folks. Well, those folks are going to lead you somewhere you don't want to go. 
Amen. Amen. Follow me as I follow Christ. And I teach the Bible simply because I'm going to teach the truth. Mm -hmm. Old preacher years ago said something unsettling to me. He asked me the question, and it was in another city, another state, not another state, but another city, and I'm a much younger than I am now, and he asked me, why do I do so much teaching at my church? Mm. And I said, because I'm, that's what God told me to do. And he said, you teach them too much, you keep them ignorant, you'll get better cooperation out of them. My Lord, my Lord. That was a sad commentary. Mm. Back to an old preacher to tell a young preacher. Amen. And when he died, that church split up about three or four different ways. I don't believe in keeping people ignorant. The Bible says we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. That means we should not be ignorant Amen. of Satan's devices. As the Lord told me to preach, heal the sick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what I do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some folk have a problem with it. That's why they're not healed. I don't have a problem with it. Because I ain't promised nobody nothing. Jesus is the one who said, them that believe shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And if don't nothing happen, that's on Jesus, that ain't on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to thank God for members of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church who take what I teach you and you practice it in the laboratory of your lives. And it's a joy of mine to watch you grow Amen. in the things of God. Amen. It's a joy of mine to see you overcoming challenges and slaying giants. Hallelujah. Because that's God's will for your life. Amen. That I don't lie to folk and tell them that trials come to make you strong. But they don't. Trials come to kick your butt. Overcoming is what's going to make you strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did I tell you who I was going to preach from tonight? Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. This is how it reads. And the very God of peace. Hallelujah. You know, he's a God of a lot more than just peace, but in this passage, it's significant that he says, the very God of peace, making us to know that he is a God of peace, yes. and that there's only one God of peace, yes. the very God of peace. Yes. Sanctify you holy. Well, this is a very weighty text. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus the Christ and the very God of peace mm. sanctify you wholly, yes. completely and I pray to the same God that your whole spirit and your whole body and your whole soul and your whole body be preserved blameless under the coming of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Now the questions that's asked in this text are already answered. Amen. Amen. How can my spirit be whole, my soul be whole, my body be whole? That's by prayer. Amen. How can it be preserved blameless under the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? The very God of peace will make it happen for you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's my subject tonight. Navigating difficulty. Of systemic racism, My Lord. crying for a change in the middle of a pandemic. Oh, yeah, that's a long subject. I've had a lot of short subjects this year. This is the longest one. Navigating difficulty of systemic racism, crying for a change in the middle of a pandemic. I want to say at the outset that God did not put this pandemic up on the world. It's not just on the United States of America. It touches every continent. I've not seen anything like this in my lifetime. I remember tuberculosis. I remember polio. And they had, we had to take shots. We were children that take us to the clinic. You had to get your shots before they would let you in school. All right. And the polio vaccine was probably the worst because they would shoot you with a needle that had several needles around you. 
and the needles around it wasn't even the, the vaccination. It was to let you know if the vaccination took. Because mm -hmm. they had a vaccination that was good, but it wasn't good for everybody. And if that, well, they did the vaccination, if it didn't whip up around that, that meant it didn't take it. You'd have to get it again. They'd find something else for you. And then later in years, they came up with a vaccination for polio that uh, they put it in sugar. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot better than that first one. Oh, my God, it was horrible. Amen. Little children just screaming to the top of their voices and all that pain. Amen. It all looked silly to me because I was a child. But I'm not a child anymore. I put away childish things. I don't think like a child anymore. And I want to say it again, that God didn't put the pandemic on the world. Amen. I believe it came from the crowd, mm. witchcraft. Mm. That's what I believe. Mm. Because it's too dark. All right, now. Amen. See, this, this, is the, this is the product of the devil. Amen. However, this is still God's world. Yes. And he will get his glory. And I see something. I see something of a pastor in the middle of a pandemic, which this word is a new word. It's not a, it's not a new word in the dictionary, but it's a new word to this generation, simply because this word meant nothing to most people mm -hmm. 24 months ago. Mm -hmm. But everybody understands what it means because it was upon us and a part of our lives, a part of our lifestyle, amen, when we find out what the name was. Yeah. Amen. amen. Coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic. Well, again, I see something that a lot of folk had to go back to the old time way. Amen. And I said the old time way. I'm talking about family. Mm -hmm. Folk having to spend more time with their families than some of them ever had. Yes. Yes. Amen. So busy making a living. Amen. That they fail to develop lives. Amen. Amen. That uh, living a day when if the wife does not work outside the home, she is deemed as Sorry, as if raising children is not a job. Mm -hmm. And keeping a household is not a job. It is a job. Amen. And I'm sure most women, amen, would agree with me. Amen. amen. And if they don't, it's because they've been taught not to wow. agree with me. As if there's something wrong with a woman being a woman. Amen. Amen. That when nobody is at home, children are left to themselves. Mm. And when children are left to themselves, the Bible says that foolishness yes, is bound up in the heart of the child. Yes. And the rod of correction will drive it far from them. Well, the rod of correction is more than a switch or a strap. Amen. Amen. Because if you have not taught the children anything. Mm -hmm. You don't have the right to correct them. Mm -hmm. If you've not encouraged them when they do something good, you don't have the right to scold them when they do something bad. My Lord, my Lord. And when they do something that they saw you do, All right, now. you don't have a right mm -hmm. to correct them because you are the one who put them in error. Amen. Help me, Lord Help Jesus. So, the pandemic brought the family back in the house. Mm -hmm. And my parents have learned overnight an appreciation for a pastor, yes, for a school teacher. Mm -hmm. Those who have been previously giving uh, the educators hell mm -hmm. about their children learned that it wasn't so much wrong with the teacher it was it was with that little child that you haven't corrected. All right now. Mm. Come on. Mm. Come on. And now you've got to deal 
with the error mm -hmm. that you planned. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, help us. Pandemic did more than that. It brought a quietness across this nation. Yeah. Other nations are too, I'm sure, but I know more about this one. Yes. It brought a quietness across this nation. So much to move, so much as that. Insurance companies, amen, uh, lowered auto rates because there are not many people doing that much driving. Amen. And like we say, we get like three weeks to a gallon, something like that. Amen. That not many folks stirring. And it brought about a quietness over this nation. And then suddenly, another black man is killed in the street for nothing by a policeman who has a spirit problem. Mm. Amen. Amen. You see, the things that we act out don't just come suddenly upon us. The violence that we display, and I say we because I'm humankind as well. Mm -hmm. And I always remember, no matter how dark, how dismal, how violent, how disrespectful, any act that you see, you too have the capability of doing the same thing and worse. Because in your flesh, just as in my flesh, dwells no good thing. Amen. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help. So, with the quietness that the pandemic has brought upon the nation, mm. suddenly, systemic racism rams up its nasty head. Yeah. yeah. In Minnesota, is that right? Nothing new. Happens all the time. And it happened several times since then. Mm -hmm. And I say that systemic racism is crying for change. Yes. Systemic racism is acted out in the flesh of people. Yes. And it has reached the recognition of itself mm. in the executive branch of the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Systemic racism. Anytime you hear a white man say that there's no racism in America, that's because he's so clouded with systemic racism himself or herself. Yes, sir. Don't tell me that racism has been eradicated in America because we elected a black president. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. Having a black president changed absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Because the same racism that's enacted and acted out in the lives of those who live in the black community and in the suburbs of America with skin like mine. Mm. Experienced by the same black man, even though he was elected to the executive branch of the United States of America. Amen. So why you say systemic racism is crying out for Because it is. You ever got Tired of being wicked? Help me, Lord Jesus. Yes. <laughs> you know, don't, don't tell me, child of God, you ain't got to the place where you needed the Lord to help you do right. My Lord, yes, sir. I was explaining to my children at dinner on Sunday how I'm so glad I obeyed God. And did what I did in 1991. I left Baptist denomination work. 
because I understood politics and I knew how it worked. Mm. And I was well versed in church politics. And I always refused to do what I knew to do because I'm scared of God. Amen. See, I, 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 I've been dismissed from two churches because I would not play the game. Because I'm not, I, I, that's just not me. I, I cannot do it. I cannot do it because I'm not afraid of people. I'm afraid of God. Amen. And you see, there comes a time in everybody's life where they got to face the wickedness mm. in themselves. Yeah, Help me, Lord Jesus. Yep. You see, the alcoholic gets tired of drinking. Mm. Dope addict gets tired of dope. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Every addiction has within it an error mm. that goes against the God-given spirit within a man. Mm. There is a vacuum beneath your skin and no matter how wicked you are, how sinful you are, that vacuum cries out yes. for change. Mm. Because after all, we're, we're not flesh people. No, no, we're not flesh people. We, we're, not, we're not soul people. We are spirit people. Yes. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help. Help. We are spirit beings. That's why the apostle writes the church of Thessalonica, say, I'm praying for you. Mm -hmm. I'm praying that the very God of peace sanctify you holy. See, because all of us need complete sanctification. Yes, sir. All of us need complete sanctification. Because there's something in that flesh the grabs at our soul that's contrary to our spirit. And when we yield to the flesh, we fail to do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. Well, you see, we, we you know, the folk really get confused and, and, and he separates the tripartite being that we are so that we can better understand ourselves. So let's look at that. I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some folk get their soul and their spirit confused. And they do that especially when their soul disagrees with their spirit. So they want to discount the spirit. Mm. See, the spirit, that's the part of us that's from God, that communicates with God and that God communicates with. And when the soul leans toward the flesh, it turns a deep ear, a deep ear to the spirit. Help me, Lord Jesus. If folk talk about, you know, you know, God gave you five senses. Yes, he did. He did give you five senses. But those five senses really won't really they're not gonna keep you out of trouble. Mm. That sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. Everybody knows that. That's our sense consciousness. But at its best, it's still carnal. All right. Help me, Lord Jesus. Yep. Paul writes in the church of Corinth, chapter 3, verses 1 through 3, 1 Corinthians 3, 1 through 3. He says, Our brethren could not speak unto you as spiritual but as unto carnal, the carnal, that's the body, the flesh, the sense consciousness. Just looking at what you see and smelling what you smell, hearing what you hear, tasting what you taste, and touching what you touch. Even as unto babes in Christ. See, if you haven't gotten beyond those five natural senses, you are not mature into Christ. As my brother, Dr. Asa Sapton, said, that, that, you know, a lot of church folk 
They just met God one morning. All right. But they don't know the man from Galilee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Verse 2 says, I fed you with milk and not with meat. But hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. You're yet carnal, you're yet fleshly. But whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are you not carnal and walk as men? See, when, when you easily get into arguments and you're still envying folk and you're still in strife and you still got divisions in the church, there ain't nothing spiritual about that, nothing godly about that. Help me, Lord Jesus. That there's more to you than your flesh. Amen. Amen. That's why when you don't feel like going to church, you need to go on anyway because there ain't nobody but your flesh talking. Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us. First Corinthians 2.14 teaches us, that, but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Help us, Lord. Help for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned. You see, to the, to the Christian that's, that's still carnal, man, look, praying for an hour, that, that don't make no sense. Don't make no sense for them. Speaking in tongues, oh my God, you don't know what you're doing. That's what they think. Help us, Lord. Help us. But you see, there are also senses of the soul. There's a correlation between our body, our soul, and our spirit. But the spirit is the part of us. That's the real part of us. And I can say just like Jesus said, no man has seen me at any time. You just see the house that I live in. Help us, Lord. Help us. See, that soul, that's the life. That's the mind. That's my imagination, my emotions, my memory, my conscience, my reason. Hello. See, but my soul is still natural. It's self-consciousness. The eyes, that's my imagination. And oh my God, that can run away with you. <laughs> the nose gate, that's conscious. That detects good and evil. The ear gate, that's the memory. It retains what it hears. And then the mouth gate, that's reason. That's comparing facts with facts. And then the sense of touch is, for the soul, the field gate is affections. Is anybody getting this? Yes, sir. But there's a better part of me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a better part of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That cries out when something's wrong with me. All right. See, years ago, years ago, I knew that there had to be a better church than I was pastor. Now, I wasn't trying to go nowhere. Amen. Amen. That, that I, want, I want to say to you, brother preacher, you know, the enemy, you know, the enemy can come to you by going somewhere else too. But, you know, some, some folks think that they are, they are, um, that they are too good to be where they are. Oh, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us. Oh, yeah. You know, there are some women who think they're too good to be in the marriage that they're in. And they may be right. And there are some men who think they're too good to be in the marriage that they're in. Mm. But, but I want to share something intimate with you. Is that you carry yourself with you everywhere you go. Amen. And there's not a better situation for you outside of your marriage. I'm going to tell you why. Because you're married. <laughs> well, some women look at a married man and they think that, that, that their life would be better with him. Mm. But what you don't understand, the life that you're looking at is the life he has with her. Amen. With his wife. Amen. And if you, by chance, can get them to depart one from another, you're not going to have what she has. Amen. Well, she's going to take her she with her. Amen. Yep. And all you're going to have left, amen, is that monkey that she got rid of. Amen. Oh, help us, Lord. Oh, yes. Help us, Lord. Help us. I want to say it again. I knew that there had to be a better church hmm. than I was pastor. Not because I was looking to go somewhere else, 
Because in that same thought, I knew there had to be a better pastor than I was. All right, all right. Help me, Lord Jesus. See, I remember, amen, as a boy, Friendship Mission Baptist Church. My sister Janine, she taught us a song by Ralph Carmichael. That was strange in that day and time. Amen. Because Ralph Carmichael, he 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 he, he had a different score of music. He had a different kind of music. All right. You know, we were used to Clara Ward and Jane Cleveland. Amen. And that crowd. Yeah. But she brought this song by Ralph Carmichael. And that song was, uh, He's Everything to Me. Mm. And, and I woke up one night singing the song, but I wasn't singing, He's, be, he's Everything to Me. I was praying, Lord, be everything to me. All right, all right. So when I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I was 14 years old. I was crying out to God because I know there had to be a better boy mm. than I was. I want to say to you tonight, whoever I'm talking to, amen, that there is a better you than you are. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you've got to get further than just your flesh, amen, and your soul. Amen. 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 you got to get to the real part of you, mm. the spirit. Yes. The Bible calls it the spirit. It calls it the heart. It's not talking about your blood pump. It's talking about the core of your being. The Bible also refers to it as the belly. It's not talking about your stomach. It also refers to it as bowels. It's not talking about your intestine. It's talking about the core of you, who you really are. All right. The one who God is calling out to. The one that the devil is trying to get in error. Mm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Yep. The one Paul was talking about in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verses 1 through 7. And I, brethren, when I came to you, I came not with excellency of speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of the power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Amen. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to nothing or to naught. But we speak with the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world under our glory. See, the whole point of this text, I want to say to you today, my brother, my sister, is balance. Yeah. Pray God your whole spirit yes. and soul and body be preserved blameless. It's talking about balance, not too much in the flesh, not so much in the soul, but allowing the spirit to control your soul so your soul can control your spirit. Not the other way around. Yeah. Let your soul control your body, your flesh. Tell your flesh what to do. When your flesh wants to do wrong, your soul must cry out. Yeah. We can't do that. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Help me, Lord Jesus. Yes. Sir. The spirit. Oh, how does the spirit correlate to the soul and the body? I'm glad you asked. The eye gate is faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The eye gate is faith. That's the eye of the spirit. That's why Paul writes, for we walk by faith and not by sight. The nose gate is hope. Hallelujah. The ear gate is reverence. The ear gate is the, is the reverence that causes me to listen to God and what he has to say about this situation. The mouth gate, that's prayer. Hallelujah. The field gate, that's worship. Or when you come into his presence. You know, folk talk about, you know, that uh, they, they want to say, they, they, they want to ascribe emotion as something that's not part 
of Christianity. Mm. Amen. Amen. Well, that's because they are cold. Mm. I want to tell you, brother preacher, you know, you, you preachers that can sing, and the whole preacher tell you, you need to decide whether you're going to preach or whether you're going to sing. They do that because they can't sing. My Lord, my Lord. Man, whatever you got, give it to God. Yes, yes. Sister, whatever you got, give it to God. You're playing an instrument. That does not take away for what God has called you to do. Amen. If you can do it. Your singing is not going to take away from what God told you to do if you can do it. Amen. But here's the issue. Here's the issue. That if I be spiritual, when am I going to have fun? Huh. If I be spiritual, how can I enjoy my hobbies? <laughs> Well, if I be spiritual, when can I have time for my interests? And I hear your complaint that you've seen spiritual folk and, 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 and you don't want to be like them. No, you, saw, you see some folk who want to make you think they're spiritual. That's what that was. Help me in my Jesus. Help us, help us. These folk talking about you today that they pray five hours every day. Okay, okay, all right. If, if, if you say so, if you say so. But I'm, I'm going to tell you something about I'm going to tell you like this. Uh, I don't mean no harm this evening. But you know, uh, ain't, ain't nobody having sex every day for five hours and, and, and everybody leading a productive life. And, be, and ain't being satisfied either. I've got to just put that right out there. And that same thing about prayer. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody praying no five hours a day, every day. Help me, Lord Jesus. And living a productive life. See, because communication with God is, you, you can communicate with God off your knees too, you know. Amen. See, when it comes to, 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 to talking to God, maybe you talk too much. Mm. Mm. You need to develop that ear gate. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Develop that ear gate. Reverence for God. What you mean, preacher? I mean, acknowledge his presence. Everywhere you go. Man. Man, stop having fun. Mm. Man, God got jokes. Mm. Yes, he does. I mean, God got a sense of humor. He got to have a sense of humor when I see some people. Oh, Come on, man. Oh, God's got a sense of humor. You ain't going to stop having fun to be spiritual. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us. And brother preacher, sister preacher, I want to get on your nerve tonight, too. With the lying and your children talking about you don't have time for them because you got to serve God. Mm. Talking about my children understand that I got to, I got to be gone. You need to have your behind home. Yeah. Yeah. Help me, Lord Jesus. What did you have children for? Yeah. What the snot is going on in the church world that you got other folk raising your children? What is the snot wrong with you? And then you get mad because they don't want to go to church. Why would they want to go to church? Because they associate church with your absence. Oh, Lord. I'm preaching good. Oh, Lord. And what they associate with pain, they avoid it. Yeah. Yeah. Because they feel like the church took you away from them. So they don't want to have no part of the church. I want to thank the Lord for my children. God gave me wonderful children. Amen. And I want to thank him for the help that I had raising them. Amen. And I pray for you young people who have children now because you ain't got no help. Oh, Lord. You ain't got much help at the school. You ain't got no help in the street. Mm. See, when I came along, any grown person could correct you. Yeah. Yeah. But you almost have to teach your child to be afraid of every grown person they see because the devil is so rampant. Yeah. I got to close tonight. I, I already talked too long. But beloved, the spirit man is crying out. See, the spirit man don't like systemic racism. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, those who, 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 who promote systemic racism, I understand. Because that's what they were trained to be. Oh, no. But no matter what you're trained to be, your spirit man is still crying out to God. And that's the problem today. 
The only way it's going to be eradicated, the folk who possess it got to change. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm encouraged, you know, when, you know, the various corporations, you know, they putting on their website, that, you know, Black Lives Matter and all that. We understand all that. And we thank, you know, we thank you, but that ain't it. Amen. Change your policies. Amen. 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 Yeah. I ain't saying hire, my boy. I ain't saying hire him in the NFL. I'm saying pay him what you cheated him out of. Amen. What's your name? Kaepernick. Kaepernick. Right, thank you. Sometimes I forget my name, though. No, don't play. Hey, Amen. I called my brother. My, I called my son Franklin. And, and my wife had to call my attention to it, you know. I know his name ain't Franklin. I just, you know, that's all that happened. You know, you call your wife, your sister's name. You don't mean no harm. But, but that, that, you, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, you, you know, your, your, your announcements and your signs is beautiful. But the change has to take place in the hearts of those who possess the hate. Yes, yes. And how is that going to happen? Somewhere I got to pray for them just like they prayed for me. Yes. Just like they prayed for you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. See, because the truth of the matter is when we see the racism, it raises up something in us yeah. that we got to hold down. See, because if Satan can make us mad about it, yeah. I'm talking about us, black folk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. African descent people. Mm -hmm. Amen. If Satan can raise up in us the hate that's in them, oh, then we won't pray no more. Oh, See, what I want to tell you tonight is that civil rights fight wasn't fought in the street. The civil rights fight was fought in the church when people were praying. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the only thing going to bring change, children. Go back to God. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, the systemic racism, the light is being turned on. See, I remember during Martin Luther King's time, you know what brought about change? It was when they televised the whole walk, the fire hoses being poured on children, knocking them down and sicking the dogs on the black people to bite them. When they saw how stupid they looked on television, that's when they became ashamed. And that's what's happening today. God's exposing this systemic racism because he wants folks to be ashamed. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. And you ought to be ashamed. Yes, sir. And that's hope even for you. Oh, yes. Because my Bible just says sin is sin. Ain't no one worse than that. All of them are buying your soul in hell if you ain't careful mm. and grapple. Yeah. So yeah. as I close tonight, beloved, I, 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 I want you to know that God has the answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this text is about balance of spirit, soul, and body. Yes. And to neglect either of them is disastrous. To neglect your body is disastrous. To neglect your soul is disastrous. And to neglect your soul, your spirit man, oh, that can bind you in hell. Mm. So I want to say repent <laughs> and be baptized. Yeah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give your life to Jesus. You don't have much time. Give your life to Jesus. He'll make your life sublime. Give up and let Jesus take over. And when he takes control of your life, your life will be beautiful. <laughs> yes, it will. Yes, it will. Our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you in our lives, in our hearts, in our souls. We bless your name that you care so much that you gave your son, Jesus the Christ, to die for our sin. And got him up from the grave that we'd be justified. And then you sent out all these men and women to preach about him. Yes. And he didn't believe in his baptized shall be saved. We thank you, Father. Thank you. I pray, Holy Father, tonight for our nation. Oh, Holy Father, raise up leaders who will see their appointment as a divine appointment. 
and not just an opportunity to amass wealth for them personally. I pray, Holy Father, you raise up leaders who have compassion for people. It's not just an itch to fill that pocketbook. I pray, Holy Father, you raise up leaders in our nation who will give themselves over to the wisdom of God and not the leadership of Satan. Holy Father, I know you can and I believe you will. We do not have an answer for the ills of our day. We only have you. You, Holy Father, have the power to do what you will. And I ask you, Holy Father, to show yourself mighty in this nation. Lord, I pray tonight for change. Lord, help the leaders of our city, of our counties, of our states to see that being a policeman is not Godship. Lord, I pray that you bust down that blue wall yeah, Lord. in the yes, name of the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, so that those who signed up to be a peace officer can really be one. Yes. And rid our cities, our counties, our municipalities of these wicked folk who want to kill black people. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. I ask you, Holy Father, to visit the White House. Pennsylvania Avenue, yes. 1616. Move through that house, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Holy Father, move! Yes. As I know you can. Show the heathen who you are. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, have mercy upon us. Have mercy today, Lord. Have mercy upon us, oh, Holy Father, for mercy suits our case. Yes. Father, we're in trouble. And you told us when we got in trouble if we call on you. Yes, yes. Turn from our wicked ways, seek your face, and you would hear from heaven and heal our land. Thank you, Father. Holy Father, I agree with you. Your way is still the best way, the safe way, the easy way, the only way that leads to life everlasting yes, sir. and success. Yes, sir. But we have failed you, Holy Father, forgive us. But yes. we've fought more things than we thought of you. Forgive us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Oh, God, when we turn our backs on you, forgive us, yes, sir. Holy Father. Yes. Well, I can't give you a timeline. But in your own time and in your own way, Holy Father, show us the justice that rolled down from the throne of God. Yes, yes sir. Move as you will, Holy Father. Mm. Bless whom you please. Because you're God, there's none beside you. Plead for mercy, Holy Father. Yes, sir. Yes. Ask you, Holy Father. Do correction. Mm. Correct us when we're in error. Yeah, Lord. Yes, sir. I ask you, Holy Father. Deal with this justice system in America. Well, I know you can take politics out of it. Yes, I know, God, that you can reverse decisions that have been made against our children. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, sir, Father. Help us today, Lord. We know, Holy Father, that men that are in prison, that they were wrong, but they weren't that wrong. Yes, Lord. Help, help. help today, Lord. Have mercy, our Father. Have mercy, Lord. 
Lord, we'll save you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll save you. Yes, Lord. We will obey you. Yes, Lord. But we ask Holy Father for change. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we don't mind being your agents of change. Yes, sir. Use us as you will. Promise that you would never leave, never, never leave us, nor forsake us. So we can boldly say, "Won't we'll fear what man does to us." Holy Father, we just ask you to keep your word, yes, Lord. as we know you will. Mm -hmm. But you told us to ask him, yes, Lord. So we ask him, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hear our prayer, oh Lord. Have respect to our supplication, but we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For all that you've done. Yes, thank you. Because Lord. we know, Holy Father, we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for you. Yes, yes. So we say thank you because you taught us to say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Well, that's your will concerning us in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, let us live to see what we saw. Yeah, Lord, help us. Very God of peace, sanctify us holy. Yes, Lord. Yes. Our spirit, our souls, our bodies, Holy Father, we may be blameless. Yes, yes. When your son Jesus returns, even so, come, Lord Jesus. Yes, sir. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Even so. Come quickly. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, is our prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We do pray with thanksgiving. Yes, Lord. All agree with that prayer. Shout amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's sovereign. Still moving, we will. Bless who we please. I never thought I'd live to see some of the things that I've seen, but it's God who kept us and allowed us to see it. But I think He chose this generation, my generation, to correct what we messed up and to turn to Him. Come on, old folk. You ain't cheering no more. God bless us tonight. Yes, Lord. God keep us. Yes, Lord. Here's my prayer. Thank you, Lord. I've done my best for this time. Thank God for giving me the love that he has to share it abroad in my heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't have hate for anyone, thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank Jesus Christ, his own dear self. We praise you are here with me tonight. Continue to pray. Yes, yes. And when pastor is finished tonight, I want you, our members, to stay. On the video conference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for joining us by Facebook. We leave you now, but you'll never leave our hearts. Amen. I pray for every one of you. I see you're, you're watching. We see that you're, amen, participating. I want you to know that I'm praying for you. Amen. God bless us tonight. Here's my prayer.